Your sense of justice will be challenged when you hear this. The real reason Dirty Tay's sentence has everyone talking. And before you assume this is just another celebrity scandal, know that the details are far more complex and controversial. Stay tuned as we dive deep into the events, the plea, and what this could mean for Dirty Tay's future. Today, we're unpacking a story that strikes deep chords of controversy, justice, and fame in the hip hop community. At the heart of this unfolding drama is Dirty Tay, a little baby signee whose life took a drastic turn following a shooting incident in August 2022. Dirty Tay, born Kentavious Wright, had been rising through the ranks of the rap scene, bolstered by the support of his mentor and label boss, Lil Baby. His tracks from the albums Way Bigger on the Low and Two Turn Up had already garnered millions of streams, positioning him as a notable name in the industry. However, the trajectory of his career took a grim turn on that fateful day in Southwest Atlanta. As reports state, a man and his three-year-old son were leaving the off-the-hook barbershop when their day turned into a nightmare. Akia performed a suspicious U-turn and started tailing them down Peter Street. At an intersection, the car pulled up alongside them and multiple shots rang out. Tragically, the toddler was struck in the head but was stabilized hours later in the hospital. Police investigations revealed that three 9mm shell casings were discovered at the scene, marking the gravity of the crime. In the wake of these events, Dirty Tay was arrested and charged. The charges were severe. A criminal attempt to commit murder, aggravated assault, first-degree cruelty to children, and multiple counts linked to Georgia's Street Gang Terrorism and Prevention Act. Hey, three out. Out. Yeah, he's got his phone and a big stack of cash in his pocket. Yeah. Can you get that to my girlfriend, please? Uh, as, soon as, as soon as we get a chance, all right? I'll get the, the money out of your pocket in a second. You got no weapons on you, right? Nah. Uh, ID. Chef. Chef. I love you, bro. Right, I won't. Chef. Come on. Hey, follow this officer right here. Chef. Come on, come on. I love you for real, bro. Can I get my girlfriend a kiss out, please? Yeah. You, you'll get in a second. Come on, buddy. You'll get in a second. Please. You'll get in a second, my buddy. You'll get in a second. Two, one, three, one, ready. Why am I in on the wrist? Okay, that's a six, seven. Initially facing a potential death penalty under a capital felony, his plea deal changed the course, reducing the charge and setting his sentence at 17 years. As we explore this narrative, it's crucial to dissect several key elements. First, the plea deal itself. Why was it accepted? And what does it say about the justice system's handling of cases involving high-profile figures? Furthermore, Dirty Tay's insistence on his innocence raises questions about the reliability of evidence and the portrayal of celebrities in the media. Throughout this discussion, we must also consider the societal impact. The involvement of a child in such a violent incident evokes a strong community response and debates over gun control and gang violence. Moreover, Dirty Tay's affiliation with the Lil Baby's 4PF label brings into focus the role of mentorship and responsibility in the music industry. As this case unfolds, it serves as a stark reminder of the thin line between fame and infamy, the weight of allegations, and the complexities of legal battles. How will this impact Dirty Tay's career and life? Only time will tell. But one thing is clear. The repercussions of this event reach far beyond the individuals directly involved, prompting a broader discussion on justice, fame, and accountability in modern society. If you found this analysis insightful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into the most talked about news in the music industry. Make sure you turn on post notifications to never miss an update from us. Have thoughts about the case? Drop a comment below. We'd love to hear your perspective.